I came from the dream time From the dusty red soil plains I am the ancient heart The keeper of the flame I stood upon the rocky shore I watched the tall ships come For 40,000 years I've been The first Australian Wow, those are the images that the corporate media does not want you to see. Freedom protesters outside the Australian Parliament letting them know that enough is enough. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org, and we have a lot of absolutely insane news to get into, as of course, it looks like the corporate media has reached peak lunacy and derangement all of course during a time period which some people are calling the mass awakening what's really going on here well we're gonna try to do our best to uncover that today as of course the video that we started off this broadcast with is showing a huge amount of people coming together in Australia with as many protesters as far as the eye could see during a recent gathering there that was done in solidarity with the people of Canada and the European Union who are also standing up for their own personal liberty and freedom to live their life as they choose to and not micromanaged by of course top-down centralized controllers that are really working for the corporate billionaire banking class all the while here the United States is being global compared to Krakistan as now the White House with fact checkers is doing their best trying to obfuscate the true reality of the US government providing safe smoking packets that were planned to be distributed throughout the United States. And while the United States government is not busy doing that, they're also threatening Russia with swift and severe costs as the United States Department recently told Americans to leave Ukraine immediately as they fear Russia will invade at any moment. This as the State Department just issued a statement saying that if you're American crossing from Ukraine over to Poland for safe haven, that you must show proof of compliance with the procedure in order to do so, which is absolutely ridiculous, just like a lot of the media coverage here that, of course, we know is mainly compromised by the military industrial complex that, of course, is looking forward towards a conflict here, as, of course, it's good for business for them. And as Michael Tracy points out, a lot of the news surrounding this particular situation is absolutely arbitrary. A lot of it is made up. It's nonsensical and another reason why a lot of people are just not buying the corporate media's crap. And that's why we released a whole bunch of t-shirts representing our discontent with the corporate special interest paid off banker billionaire corporate media class, as of course we advocate for practicing media distancing and to be aware of the trauma-based mind control variant, which is out there extremely virulent, especially if you're watching the television, and extremely bad for your mental and spiritual health. And wearing these t-shirts in the general public is the anti don't that we need right now to help awaken the masses and you could do that by just going to the best political shirts.com the link is down in the description below click on it right now in order to get active and engaged in conversations happening in your towns and your cities where you can meet like-minded individuals and also most likely repel a, a lot of people who of course don't resonate with you and are not on the same frequency we have a bunch of shirts some of them are, are uh, a little bit uh, controversial like this one i have right now that says just two weeks and you're free that uh, definitely do start the conversation with uh, a lot of the Fauci lovers out there and other like-minded individuals which is which is awesome I have a lot of fun wearing these shirts and I think you will too check them all out on the best political shirts.com now with the possibility of a huge full-out conflict with Russia with economic calamity inflation scoring high what's the main thing that CNN wants you to worry about Someone saying a bad word a few years ago as CNN literally jumped the shark. Well, not literally, but, but oh man, have they absolutely lost it in their latest article that is titled Joe Rogan's use of the word is another 
January 6th moment. This is not the Babylon Bee. This is not a satire website. This is CNN's website from the analysis by John Blake, a contributor to CNN who has written other mind-boggling pieces like this one titled when you're the only white person in the room, and his other greatest hit, quote, the new threat, racism without racists. And no, his work is not one of fiction. It's not one of comedy. From my perspective, from my opinion, it's one of mental illness and derangement. With so many important issues, with so many bad people out there, with so many horrible things happening in this world, CNN wants you to go after an MMA commentator because he used a word a few years ago i mean imagine a world if the corporate media would pay as much attention to glenn maxwell as they have to joe rogan this by the way as new photos just came out of prince andrew giving glenn maxwell bill clinton and kevin spacey a guided tour of buckingham palace but you know nothing to see here no weird connections powerful people doing the most sinister horrible things on the face of the earth that the mainstream media covered up for remember joe rogan is is the main problem you're having to deal with not an international trafficking and extortion operation that lasted nearly 30 years and hurt thousands of children now this larger obfuscating of what's really important this larger derangement and hyper focusing on nonsensical issues it's not just happening because of someone's delusion and insanity it's happening because it's a part of a long continuing campaign as clearly the corporate media is doing the bidding of the special interests that truly do control them and have a lot of control over everyday lives this is why we see one protest promoted like black lives matter and another protest demonized like of course the freedom protesters that worked with truckers who uh, according to the reporting from the daily mail that was there on the ground speaking to hundreds of protesters they didn't find one bad person that of course large swaps of the media claimed were there they found hard-working blue-collar individuals from all different ethnic races and classes coming together and saying that they had enough of government controlling their lives. There's even reports of other police officers and military veterans coming together, standing against the police officers that were called on them. As of course, the Canadian government has been extremely repressive against any voice against the state, arresting many times peaceful protesters, pastors, with of course the US government cheering it on and even asking for more repression as the governor of Michigan, along with the president of the United States demanded that the Canadian Canadian government get rid of peaceful protesters that were of course blocking the bridge between the United States and Canada in the state of Michigan. The Canadian government of course followed those orders very carefully and then literally set up a mass mobilization of police officers and SWAT members to force the protesters off the bridge. Here in the United States, that wasn't just enough for them, as today we're finding out that the Department of Homeland Security has deployed nearly 500 workers in the Los Angeles area in order to possibly stop protests that might happen there during the Super Bowl. Now, with the truckers leaving the Ambassador Bridge just moments ago, will this mean an end to this protest? Most likely not. It will most likely manifest in many different ways, as, of course, the government is doubling down. They're not ceding any kind of ground. They're not interested in listening to the people's demands. And, of course, that's only going to anger more of the people that are just demanding that their lives go back to normal. They had their money confiscated. They had their reputations destroyed by the media, which, of course, is in the business in destroying anyone who dares stand against the state or the special interests that the state represent, which again is perfectly represented by this latest delusional insane piece by CNN that is accusing Joe Rogan of unleashing genocidal insurrectionist forces just because he's not regurgitating the same script that the corporate media is. You question the agenda, you question the narrative, you of course will be attacked, vilified, as perfectly represented by this hot pile of crap that CNN is calling a news article. Joe Rogan, by the way, was also not seen at the latest UFC event which he was supposed to be broadcasting. Allegedly, there's reports of the crowd chanting during this event to free Joe Rogan, as of course many people, including leftist figures like Jon Stewart have come out and said that the attacks against Joe Rogan are a complete overreaction and I couldn't agree with him more. As Jon Stewart said, the canceling of Joe Rogan would be akin to banning him, Jon Stewart, from television 
for his opposition to the Iraq war in 2003. I do believe that is a fair comparison to make here. And if the comments from even the UFC champion himself, Israel Anasanya, tell us anything is that the corporate media is absolutely out of touch of reality. The majority of people do not want Joe Rogan canceled, do not care about anything that CNN is obsessing about. And if anything, this exact situation, these hit pieces are only helping awaken and bring more light on this situation that people are finally seeing for what it actually is. It's a deliberate attack against free speech, against personal expression, against creativity, against the ability to even think. And there are very powerful people trying to take that away from you, trying to silence you, and they can only win if you stay silent. That's my personal perspective. I might be wrong. And if you think I am, let me know why in the comment section below. I always appreciate your constructive criticism. I always appreciate your participation in this independent media channel. It's also really awesome to see all of you guys wearing the shirts out there. I've been traveling recently. I've seen some shirts out there in the wild. It's awesome. It's incredible to see. And if you have any photos that you want on the website of our merchandise that you are wearing, you can by sending it to info at wearechange.org. If you have any problems if you have any issues email info at we are and we strive to of course have good customer service so if you have any problems we of course will be doing our best to try to fix that and rectify it just by simply emailing us at info at we are change.org email us right now especially if you want one of your photos up there on our main t-shirt page on the best political shirts.com i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change.org